Today, we're journeying back to two of the most transformative periods in European history, the Renaissance and the Reformation. The Renaissance, a French term for rebirth, spanned from the 14th to 17th centuries, awakening Europe from the Middle Ages' long sleep with a burst of culture, science, and art. Renaissance giants like Leonardo da Vinci, Michelangelo, Donatello, and Raphael not only created iconic artworks, but also pioneered new techniques, such as perspective and realism, which brought paintings and sculptures to life. Meanwhile, a storm was brewing in the religious world. A German monk named Martin Luther openly critiqued the Catholic Church's authority, igniting the Reformation. Both these movements dramatically altered life and society in Europe. Let's delve deeper into each. The Renaissance began in Italy, where ancient Roman ruins served as inspiration to new artists. City-states in this area, such as Florence, had many wealthy merchants who used their excess money to fund projects in the arts and in education. These people were called patrons. The Renaissance introduced humanism, emphasizing human potential and achievements. It put individuals at the center of art and thinking. This shift led to a broader focus on education, with schools teaching a wide array of subjects like literature, philosophy, and the sciences. In the realm of science, Renaissance thinkers like Copernicus and Galileo disrupted centuries-old beliefs. They suggested that the Earth was not the center of the universe, but just one of many planets orbiting the Sun. This heliocentric model completely changed how people perceived their place in the cosmos. Now let's look at the Reformation. Prior to this point in the Middle Ages, the Church had a massive control on the lives of people in Europe. The Catholic Church during the Middle Ages was incredibly corrupt, meaning the clergy or church leaders were wealthy, bought art, and had large parties using funds from the common peasants of their congregation. Those that questioned the power, corruption, or immorality of priests could have their salvation taken away by the church and could not get into heaven. The church also sold a product called indulgences. For a sum of money, this document would forgive sins so you could get into heaven faster than normal, essentially like a fast pass at Disneyland. Martin Luther was one of the largest critics of the church's practices, like the selling of indulgences. In protest of the corruption, he wrote the 95 Theses bringing attention to the problems with the church. This bold move led to the Protestant Reformation, which created new Christian denominations and shattered the Catholic Church's influence in Europe. Now, instead of one uniform way to worship, there were several Christian branches. Each had its unique interpretation of faith, its practices, and governance, which affected every aspect of life, from the family unit to education, to political governance. Politically, the Reformation resulted in a redistribution of power. As the Church's authority shrunk, monarchs and states took more control. Religious alignment also began to define nation-states, laying foundations for the modern geopolitical landscape. So, the Renaissance and the Reformation both sparked profound transformations, challenging old norms, and ushering in new ways of thinking and living. The echoes of these periods are still felt today, from the art we create to the scientific inquiries we make, from the diverse religions we follow to the nations we belong to. So the next time you marvel at a piece of art, study the stars, or celebrate your faith, remember the transformative periods of change that have shaped these aspects of our lives. That's all for today's historical journey. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more captivating explorations into the past. Keep questioning. Keep learning, because remember, the history of yesterday shapes the world of today. Until then, keep exploring.